So, um, Atty is very much uh, the brains and not the brawn. Um, he likes reading his scrolls and um, is sent to England as a punishment uh, after accidentally getting in trouble with Emperor Nero. So um, Atti is a fictional character, he's not a real historical character, and um, he wasn't in the book, but I definitely think his character and elements of who he is are kind of seen throughout the Rotten Romans books. Um, yeah. Um, you know, growing up, did you watch, did you read any of the horrible history books? Yeah, I was actually a really big um, Horrible Histories fan, both the TV series and the books. Um, I'm really dyslexic, so I never really enjoyed history in the classroom. Um, and when Horrible Histories came along, I loved it because, although I didn't know at the time, I was learning, you know, history. And um, finding a fun way of learning it was really important uh, for me growing up and kind of ignited my love of history. But I can definitely say myself as someone who's still in education, having a fun way of telling history is... Um, is really important and also I think we had so much fun making the film that I think that really comes across so the most important thing is that people leave having had a really fun time and um, if they happen to have learned some stuff I think that's an added bonus it was an absolute dream working with him I have to be careful because he's actually stood there I can't I can't say anything bad but no it was it was an absolute dream um, I just jumped out of bed each morning when I knew I'd be going on set I was so excited and um, in terms of direction I think um, it's easy when you've got lots of big actors um, to uh, just kind of step back a bit as a director and I think um, for me as someone who's fairly new to this um, it was really um, it was really great that he didn't do that and um, he also gave us enough space to improvise and let us have a go at finding the characters we also had a couple days of rehearsals where it was just me and Amelia um, and we were actually best friends in real life before we got the film um, but having a bit of time to work with the characters was really important and something I haven't had the opportunity to do before um, so I really appreciated that. I absolutely loved doing comedy. It was, um, it felt very natural um, and it was something that I really enjoyed doing. Um, it was a very different process, the kind of more serious acting, for example, in Game of Thrones. You're always kind of focused on the big crying scene or the big emotional scene as the hard thing. Um, but in uh, my experience in making this film, the hardest thing was just not laughing on set and just keeping a straight face. Because um, it was literally every day I was just crying with laughter. Um, and I'd absolutely love to do another comedy film. It was such a great experience. And um, working with comedy gods like Dominic and Nick Frost and Lee Mack um, gave me, I think, the best intro to comedy that I could hope for. Well, Pleasure no, to thank meet you. Very much. Thank you. You too. Uh, um, no, the thing that attracted us to Romans the most was the idea that we could have a story.